Kem Hey, from the voice So I around here say so you're from the streets From the streets From the streets Hey peeps, welcome to another episode of From the Streets, brought to you by Live MB Music. I'm your host Sim, and we're here chilling in Maypen this week, out on the streets asking you, our viewers, what's the worst pickup line you've ever heard? Check. I'm Mr. Michael, I see you. You look, from the look by you, you look bright like the sun from the morning, you see me? Nah, like baby, you're up, your thing turn up, you look, you turn up, you see me? You are the best of the world, girls. I say, Miss World, you're nice and I look good, you know. I say, eyes thing for making feel good, you know. Baby, your skin clean, you know, you're sexy, you know. You know what I say, I say, I say, Miss World, look nice, you know. Yeah. You know what I say, I say. And from that now, them can I take on to the movements. Yes, yeah, she looks Yes, she's cute and skin clean yeah. and bad, girl, you're nice. You know what I say, I say, so they are these things we say. To make them feel good. Now you know me that's a baby your skin clean yeah, in a man. A diamond you skin in a man. You see what I say? Lad me that there with that girl then. Say me tough. Me not tough. Me thick. Look how me look nice. Me not tough. Me thick. Why well, sometimes me cut my ears when they matter because some verse thing where them talk to tell woman and so them approach woman. So me nobody to listen to them. Yes man. Just had a, had a dream about you last night. I don't like shorty because I know that I'm short. So it don't really actually make any sense. No, no make no sense to me. I don't know about nobody else, but no make no sense to me. What do you think? After, after I'm in a season, after I'm in a season, I'm not Bob Brownie. You know? What is this? No. All right, short skirt. Short, short skirt. Alrighty guys, so you've heard the views from both men and women on this week's topic. I personally don't really like pickup lines. I prefer for you to just come and introduce yourself like a gentleman. You know, I'm going to continue chilling here in Maypen while you check out these videos. Continue. Why good in a man cranium? Oh, yeah, pre-life like. We're not frightened for your spawn deal. But you have one shoes alone, I'm a bill. I know for them, lose them soul for gain the world. When I switch for the table turn, we're not frightened for Benz and Beamer. I mean, I sell out my friends, them need that. I know for them, lose them soul for gain the world. When I switch for the table turn, when you talk about boys, it marry up, do you want friend them? Me know how the Almighty send them Cause when me read me Bible Christ never left him disciples And if I want food, me have man share that Set the box cover ya, tear that Then I play my song before people hear that Pull it up, play back No frightened for your spandil Me have one shoes alone, I'm a bill I know for them, lose them soul for gain the world When I switch for the table turn Me no frightened for Benz and Beamer I'm gonna sell out my friends, them need that. Enough of them, lose them soul for gain the world. When I switch for the table turn. Family, I'm gonna love out. Mama, I'm gonna soon come back, me a step out. So I help you see your stress out. Bring them shit, deserve the best, don't it? When I talk about YVP, them drop a lot of song for me. And I, and I still I give thanks for it. Life comes with stages, I'm just on the other pages. Jano stars, sad time for me stars. I'm stuck on my family life here, man. Ah, I'll do what you got. In a way, I do still live on. I'll do what you got. Kick back on the edge, run boat together From your can so no shine, it's a rainy weather No pill can ease, it's a pain, my brother And I'm me alone, I feel it Me say your mother and your brother, them I feel it 
Look at them, crush out a life like a JJ After you have your good life and the wicked come living All the way you are In a way that you still live on All the way you are Memories still live on Life are the greatest gift we now give up, tell the pagans this From there is life, there is hope We still a cope, now hang with no rope Yeah man, I still and I represent From the streets, keep it locked Hear what I said to you Come join the celebration Sweet of the victory. I'm close to the end of my road days. Now I can taste victory. Been through the worst of my worst days. Now I can taste victory. Many bad Christmas, well, heap of bad birthdays. Now I can taste victory. Misty a fool, cause me never did go both ways. No I can taste victory. I am here with reggae recording artist Nesbeth. Nesbeth, thank you so much for taking the time out to stop by. It's all good man. You know, this is my life. So no problem. Alright, let's get right to it. So Nesbeth, what inspired you? to come within to come into the music industry and how long have you been here all right my inspiration comes from life itself and uh, from the get-go I know that I really want to do something positive I want to contribute make a contribution to this beautiful country called Jamaica I'm not just born and raised in Jamaica and then fade away like that so I've always been trying to see how best I can contribute to this country and uh, after leaving Charlie Smith Comprehensive High School where that um let me say Charlie Smith Comprehensive High School was where you know most of my friend friends encourages me to take on music to pursue music as a career but I was like doing it like a hobby thing you know when you have something and you know you just get up and you just sing but friends them get up and I say no man in bad I know that's the term they use for somebody that is good or somebody that can do something Very well. in a way that they themselves cannot do it so let me encourage Nesbeth after leaving Charlie Smith school um, I take her on the road because you know living in the inner city I'm from an humble beginning mother never have it much father never have it much and it wasn't that choice of living in the inner city because if you know the inner city then you will definitely know that living in the inner city the inner city is where the less fortunate gather together not by choice so it was a struggle and I definitely wanted to get out by some means and I choose it the positive way hence why I'm doing music <laughs> What are some of the challenges that you have faced while being in the music industry? Challenges that I face being in the music is like I want my voice to be heard but ever so often it's like a steep hill because who you want to hear your voice just not they're not paying attention to you because there's so much going on there's so much other established figures out there that you know they're not seeing why they need to pay attention to you so sometimes you know i face that lock out of studio thing i have to be like going to shop for the gate man trying to friend the gate man Trying to find somebody that is inside of the student to call a friend, you know. Say I or hello, all a reasoning and see if sometime or the other they will, you know, help you to hey come in. <laughs> so and uh, the hypocrisy, you know, that was from the get-go, but the hypocrisy, it is up and alive. 
and uh, that is very much disturbing but then when I realize that it comes with life packages then I just have to understand you know what instead of worrying about what it is just find ways and means to get around it so if I know that you are in you are you are an hypocrite and you are in hypocrisy to the tea to the neck then it's not like I wouldn't deal with you but then I'll just know how to deal with you and know that you're doing what you feel pleased of doing and I have to get by I can't make you be the obstacle in Nesbitt way Absolutely. so I'm a solution type of a person I don't sit down and worry about no spill milk just know say I hear me find the map perfect clear it up and clear it up and move on so the challenges is great you have lesser challenges you have greater challenges and sometimes it's very much disturbing sometimes it push you to the point of you know get getting hungry sometimes it, it, it push you to the point of asking yourself is real if, if this business is really what you're called for are you are if you're just trespassing in music but then as I said life in its own way shape or form is a challenge and so I'm open to challenge and I have to get by <laughs> you recently completed a tour tell us about this tour all right my first tour in Europe my first tour it's my second time in the UK because okay. I've gone to the UK in 2013 but it's my first tour in Europe and uh, you know as a reggae artist once you start doing reggae then there's always somebody in your ears telling you that yeah Europe wants to see you so after so many years trial and hero you know there come um, it was finally time for Nesbet to head on to, to Europe and uh, I honestly believe it is the, the my EP my taste victory EP that have been launched um, last year that my company Entertainment Soul launched last year um, earned me the spot on a number of shows out in Europe and uh, I have gone there I am a man on a mission so whether the plane ride was the longest that I've ever been on or not I know I am choosing to take on the journey and I know I have to go out there to do what I have to go out there and do. And I can tell you, in the business, I think going out in Europe, it is one of my most memorable trips. Why? Because of the level of anticipation and uh, the fact that I, I, I was able to, to go there and deliver. And I have delivered in the rain, in the pouring rain, because it was stormy. And I'm talking this summer. Um, um, it was stormy. It's like Europe haven't seen summer. Don't see summer this year because it was rainy, stormy, and I heard that storm was coming like 15 minutes after my time was slated to be on the stage. And uh, it so happened that it was windy and all of that. Um, the time was pushed back, to, but I eventually get a chance to go on the stage. And it was a different vibe, a different energy. I had some dancers. Um, came from France, uh, my background singers out in Europe and my team entertainment so long we had gone there and give them a, a nice package and it was something that the people was longing for they have received it and they know that nobody else couldn't have done what Nesbeth had done because everybody is special in their own way so I've gone out there and I've spread the message of love because I'm about love I'm about love and I, I, I I had done what I'm supposed to go out there and done and then I segue to the UK which I've done a number of shows in London and outside of London so it was a success I am blessed to be such artist that was chosen on such a journey and I have gone there to do my best and trust me I've done it <laughs> wonderful as a mentor to younger aspiring artists, what is your advice to them? Well, my advice is that 
If you're in the business, make sure you love the business because when the time gets rough and tough, it is the love of the business that will help you to make the next step in going forward. Because if you don't love it, then the moment you are faced with challenges, then you're going to stop. So I would first advise them, love what you're doing and then everything else will be history. Now, my four Ds that I really use in my tough and my rough time to get on the other side <laughs> is discipline, determination, dedication and desire. So it's discipline, determination, dedication and desire. So I'll definitely share it with just about any and everyone at any given time, any moment, any chance I have to say it, I will say it. Not just for the young aspiring artists. You understand what I mean? So the four of these discipline, determination, dedication and desire. Wonderful. What can we expect from Nesbeth in the coming months or years? Well, just expect the Nesbeth to rearrange, change whatever is there as um, there already. I'm not here to just fit in music. I'm not here to take from the bag of music. I'm here to put in it. And uh, such, so you have to take a part of revolutionizing the thing. Some will love it, some won't. But I honestly believe that music is much more than just singing for a plate of food. Nesbeth, we'd like to thank you so much for stopping by and having us do this interview with you today. I would like you, I would like to thank you for stopping by. <laughs> so you hear me? I thank the item for coming through and come come really even take a piece of Arnett Garden and I do hope you people are comfortable with whatever you hear about Arnett Garden and just put it out there and enlighten some other people who so don't have a clue what Arnett Garden is okay. and what it is all about. You understand? Arnett, Trenchtown, football and music play an integral role in them life. If you take out music and football, or I just say music and sports, out of Trenchtown people them life, then Jamaica have a meeting. So don't ever do it. You understand what I say? <laughs> and I send a shout out to each and every one now. I shout out to the blind, the deaf, the dumb. The people them work here hardly make it true but still I try. Send a shout out to Entertainment Soul for representing Nesbeth. Send a shout out to Team Nesbeth because Nesbeth and Nesbeth alone couldn't have done it. Team Nesbeth is consist of so many people where I can't even call out so many names. But I have said Stampede, I have a big up Stampede, the street girl. Stampede, I do the thing I heal the king. And the publicist, I have to send a shout out to the pub, my publicist. I have to send a shout out to my manager Eccentric. I have to send a shout out to the people that I listen to my dream and the rest of Nesbeth song. I have to send a shout out to the newspaper, the media people, the disc jockey them, because everybody played their role. Nesbeth and Nesbeth alone couldn't have reached this far. So every individual, even the man will sit down and anticipate a song from Nesbeth, I have to send a shout out to him. Because as you know, it is a collective effort that makes whatever is supposed to be successful, successful. Alrighty guys, that's all the time we have for this week. We'd like to say a big thank you to Nesbeth for stopping by. We'd also like to say a big thank you to our sponsor, Live MB Music, and to you, our viewers, for tuning in each week. Until next time, I'm your host, Slim. What good? So I bless up the people of Farnet Garden, I bless up the people of Trenchstone, all over. And what I say, we are close up the program with the hit song, My Dream, My Dream, My Dream, My Dream, My Dream. Tell you my dream is to live my dream. Heal the most sign of me sleep when me stampede. My goal, my goal, my goal. All of my goal is to reach my goal. Live a happy life, put it on me headstone. Nobody not to cry over you. So you hear me? Just reach, have your dream, and reach feet. Have your goal, reach feet, set it. Nesbeth, Celestia, Jaa! 
Rastafari. Aye.